comforting. Knowing. Caring. I think that if I were to describe Einstein in one word, it would probably just be love. Because he loves every living creature unconditionally. My aunt, uh, who lives in Seattle, always says of Einstein, and she used to say this of one of her dogs too, that his first reaction is, I love you, and his second question is, who are you? Like that's how he says, who, I love you, who are you? I love you. Einstein, Trogdor, and McKeg, our school's unofficial therapy dog. Einstein has been a familiar and comforting face to many students over the years. We caught up with him and some humans he's impacted to talk about his role at the school and how he became a therapy dog. Einstein is certified through Therapy Dogs International, so he had to pay, uh, pass a test. He had to pass a test of mostly behavioral things, but some of them included if he was offered a snack and I didn't want him to take it, that he would reject it, or that if loud noises happened near him, uh, that included children uh, dealing with a wheelchair as well. So he had to pass a test in order to do that. And that means that he is certified through them and has his therapy dog officialness through them. I get to see Einstein almost every Thursday night, which is fantastic for me. Um, we go through a week of craziness at school for sure. And um, it's nice to come to awkward pause on Thursday nights and be able to unwind. And, and it always makes it so much better when Einstein's there. When Einstein walks in, there's just something about him, he's kind of like a, little, a big teddy bear, and it's like everything's going to be okay because he's so innocent. He doesn't really know what's happened. He's, he just wants to love you anyways, so it's it's really nice feeling. Not one person in a room will not be noticed by Einstein, so that's like one thing. And he doesn't really show that much affection to everyone, but he like makes sure that every single person in that room is cared for and noticed. You can tell if you're stressed out or anything, it'll always come up and lay on you or sit with you or let you pet him or anything. So he's just, he's really, it's a good calming effect for a lot of people. For Cat's Eye News, I'm Emily Barnes.